but we can have a bit higher buffer at least. And that's going to be now 20 per minute, which still is going to be uh, technically about 100 minutes total to produce everything, assuming that, well, I mean, the electricity is going to hinder us even further, or the lack of uh, electricity, rather. Over here, we do still mine at least some of it. Looks like these are actually taking the stuff faster than we are mining. Isn't great. How's the... Okay, at least the fuel we have, all the refined oil we have plenty. Hydrogen we have run out completely. Quite a while ago, I reckon. Refined oil we got decent chunk. Oil we got plenty. Yeah, most of these are working. These are working. I mean, to be fair, I've increased a lot of the... Not upgraded a lot of the manufacturers in here. Well, that's the same place, rather, so that is probably causing a bit of an issue. Let's see, is there anything that we could do to increase that? So we've got the fractionators, I don't think we need those right now. I'm just going to drop them here, in fact. Oh, we've got some hydrogen. Oh, yeah, because we had to dismantle some areas. Right. Meanwhile, I guess the engines are still being produced very slowly. We need the engines to be able to produce the rods, so that's probably what is hindering us most right now. On um, well, at least getting the gear built. Oh, hey, another rocket. 156 should be 457. We're having a very massive problem with the power. I suppose what I could do is I could go ahead and get more solar panels. I don't know, go for this North Pole or something like that. Got solar panel production in here. I know the 10 panels isn't much in terms of power production, but it's better than nothing. The reason why I'm putting them in here is because I've put plenty in the South Pole. And whenever the South Pole isn't getting sun, then we have a problem. Okay, well that's the 10. Um, power load is still quite massive. Generation capacity is, well, still fluctuating a lot. Where we're 90 and 100. Well, some, some demand hasn't gone down, that's for sure. Okay, we're almost done with the research. And we'll start with the uh, extra. Um, hold on. No latitude limit, right. I wasn't entirely sure what was the correct term there. So I had to check. But yes, that thing. Start researching very soon. And to be fair, we got at least 40 in there. We got probably about 40 over there. And then... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we can have a lot more power in our mech. In which... Using the... Graphite first. Just in case. Apparently we could actually get a bit more of uh, the magnetic rings. Although, how many? We're going to need 16. So even with that, we're going to have a problem with the magnets. Now we have massive power outages. Lovely. Let's take all that. Actually empty. So probably empty. Here they are. Okay, can I get another six? Uh, I should be able to. Oh, 
plant. So I guess the question is how much? Okay, so that is producing. Another one. Oh, there is actually another one going in. Good. 3.2 megawatts. Okay, so it is slowly picking up speed again. And solar cells have uh, gone up in numbers as well. But hold on. Produce 75 megawatts just there. And that's almost all of our total. Oh, wow. Wait, so... Oh, wait a minute. I realize what's happening there. We were behind the gas giants. Well, at least the South Pole should be producing now. Still not particularly good ratio, but it's better than nothing. I suppose. Oh right, yeah, the one of the uh, fusion plants now should be completely out of fuel. That's probably causing a bit of an issue. Indeed, it is. Over here, we okay. We got plenty of uh, deuterium now. Also got plenty of these super magnetic rings. So it's just the well, I mean, it's not even the alloys that is the problem. Just the lack of power. Just in case, I will get a link. Oh, they are actually linked. Never mind. As you were. We do have that power station that we could probably set up somewhere. Few of them. Question is, do we actually have a good place for it? We've got a decent bit of hydrogen in here, but it is going down now. Having insufficient power. Over here, if I start taking too much out of the... I suppose I could probably... Oh wait, did I? I don't think I got the... No, I didn't get the particle collider yet. Still working on the last rings there. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so that is backing up. I suppose it's good. A lot more production. Do we have a lot of alloys in here? We do actually have a decent chunk. 5,000. Well, I mean, that's the max. We've got 1,300 right now. And there's another one going south. Of the uh, fuel rods. Got a total of three right now. It's going to be four in just a moment. There we go. So there's already... We're heading this way. The question is, how many will we actually gather up here before being picked up. That should be bringing up more of the magnetic rings. Here, yeah, drop of four. Okay, so that is probably picking up the... We've got a total of five. Oh, we've got a sixth just arriving. The question is, will we actually... Nope. Did not pick it up, unfortunately. Did I? I can start producing that. Then we should probably turn around. And actually, here's the thing. If we can make sure that we produce the deuterium a bit more reliably, which, let's say we take away these, we can certainly do. Get rid of these. Oh right, that's elevated. We'll get the belt going through here again. And then if we get the particle collider over here. I suppose it doesn't really matter which way, as long as it's somewhere around here. Right, so I want you to be making more deuterium. Excellent. Uh, do we have more of the sources? We have a little bit. When you get one of these. 
and then you can be linked probably to that one. That's even more power consumption, so actually now that we got that one, I think what we're going to do is we're going to place the mini fusion power back in here, because there's just going to be so much more resources available to this place that I think we can maintain our plant. And that with the extra power we can keep all the productions underway. Or ongoing and oh, that's gonna help a long way. Also we got a lot of hydrogen on us right now so let's just go ahead and fill up the particle collider here. The excess one or ones that we have. Right, uh, is that all? That was all. Produces 8 per minute. Actually, not a terrible rate. Um, eight per minute. Oh, right. It's probably would be producing ten per minute, but because of the or oh, even more. Also, there's a bit of a problem with the power. It's slowed down. But clearly, that did at least alleviate some of the problems because now we had at least have the our uh, our generation capacity over hundred, closer to hundred and ten most of the time, and the demand is still about hundred and eighty. How much do we... Okay, 44.6 megawatts from the shell now. It's still <laughs> far from complete. And we already got on... About 250... Science... Researched. Let's go ahead and check. Are we running out of green ones? Looks like we are. Are these... These are all producing at least. So technically, if we were to get, say, two more of these, we'd probably make about third. Well, assuming that we have the power, we could make about. Ooh, actually, the. Oh, that's no. It should be producing just very slow. Hmm. So this one's at least researching just. Not particularly quickly. Right, well, let's give it a try. Two extra layers. It's probably going to spend a lot more electricity right now, but... The more we can get the research going, the quicker we can actually get the shell... ...a bit further along the way. And that way we can get at least a bit more of uh, electricity produced. And hopefully eventually the shell will start producing enough power to actually run all the operations. Because that would be handy. How much do we have solar sails waiting here? Uh, I've still got a decent chunk. The reserves have gone down a little bit. Well, apparently we just launched another rocket. We have... Ooh. Oh! Oh no! Okay, so now the bottleneck over here is the filters. Well, right now it's kind of both, but... Yeah, we need to get more filter production. Well, luckily... We can just head over here and we should be able to improve it a bit. Problem is, there is a bit of a... small area that we are... using stuff in. Also, these are going to be a problem. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Because uh, the logistics center will store some of it anyway. At this stage, it's kind of irrelevant. Right, do we have... We do have at least one assembly machine. Okay, over there. And you need to be producing the plane filters. Good. Now we'll just drag in this from here. Okay, 
there's a technically this should still be producing enough if not we can always just upgrade one or both of these to produce a bit faster or if need be oh actually yeah we can't fit it more over here yet because the coal is still in the way one thing that i suppose we could do is we could extend it down this way we move this around to be not in the way yeah, I suppose we could get more production over there, but let's, let's upgrade that one. See if that has the effect required. Actually, I will upgrade this one as well. Assuming that it's... Uh, I suppose it's apparently at least kind of getting the resource it requires. That's mostly because the production is very slow. Okay, how is the power production? 120, 570. Well, it has improved. It has improved. Oh, and we can see the Dyson Sphere now. There's a solar cell production. So it's actually going down right now. Structure points is about 1.8 per minute. Oh, we don't even have the cell points yet. Oh. But is that something that we can already make, or...? Oh wait, I think that's just... Uh... Yeah, that's just a universal. It carries whatever it needs to. It depends on where it's going, basically. That is producing frames. Uh, we should have the upgrades available, right? But I think it might be... Okay, I can't upgrade that. I don't have them in my inventory. I should probably get a bit more of the regular ones as well. Okay, well, it does have 10, the titanium class, so that's at least a good uh, start. I believe now I can upgrade that. We upgrade these as well. Although, are you... Oh, you're not unloading. Okay, well, that might be a problem. Okay, there we go. Because now that once they go through the buffer, it's not going to be quite as good. But it should still be decent. Still got plenty of crystals. We still got enough of the titanium glass for all of these, by the looks of it. Yes, we did at least increase the production by about 50%. Minus any potential efficiency lost by the lack of electricity. Right, um, that one doesn't have any rockets right now. They got the rods in here, but they don't have these. Require, of course, the glass, or the filters rather, and there should be 31 approaching. Keep the production going for a while. I actually wonder, maybe I should upgrade that one. So that I can have a decent chunk of it. Do we? Oh, we do actually have another one. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade that one as well. Because they are going to require a fair bit of the filters for the... Well, it's only two per. But it's at least going to speed up the production. And there we go, there's the filters. And a little bit goes down here as well. Good. Because yeah, so we almost used 400 research so far. All plenty to go, but we got at least still a bit of buffer of these um, quantum chips here that we need for the research, among other things.
Still only one of these researching, which really isn't a good thing. And the productions over here are still keeping up. Good. I mean, at least you are working full speed. That one's actually not working right now. Got a good buffer of that. And the diamonds probably are in... Oh yeah, we got plenty of them. Probably way too much. Oh, actually got multiple rockets in there right now. Uh, we're building it up. Now it is just a matter of getting the engine chips out. We have we've got another seven incoming filters. We're gonna have to increase the production of those. Right, well let's uh, go ahead and get some we're gonna have to get some magnets and then we're gonna have to get some more copper and iron be able to make plenty of uh, new assembly machines. Assemblers. Whatever you want to call them, I suppose. Right, with those, how many can we make? We can make nine. I'll make five. Probably need to switch the location of some of these um, power poles. Oh, it actually shows which ones are now going to be under the range. I'm going to say under the influence, but that might be misinterpreted. Uh, well, misunderstood, let's put it that way. There's a little bit over there that is not being covered. I'm not entirely sure if I actually need more of these. I think it's more of a need more of these. Trash faced. <laughs> also, hey Ashton, how's it going? Um, even more easy to misunderstand. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I could technically fit in one more in here. Go ahead and upgrade one of these. Hopefully we've got all the resources required to do it. I have another object. Oh, right. Now, um, we need to get this build over there. Let's quickly copy that. Trashing yourself from Hango Ambina. Would else are tricky? Oh, yeah, they are. I've uh, played only a tiny bit as the Wood Elves, though. I can't really consider myself an e e expert with that, but yeah, they are a bit tricky, no doubt. We are now producing that. Probably not very. No, oh, actually, I think the speed is going to be just fine over here. Yeah, There's more of a problem with the electricity still. Hey, at least we are getting a bit more production of these, so we can get more of the... Well, actually, yeah, these are made into the quantum chips, which then, of course, allows us to send more rockets to get more... Oh, there goes another rocket. Don't pass a difficult start, but you're still struggling in outside walls. Ah, oh, fair enough. And another rocket. Oh, right, yeah, now it's just a matter of getting the chips in quickly enough, and we should have... Ooh, we got 44 incoming. Need to reload a lot to get there. Yeah, I believe you. We will be playing a multiplayer and Benar later this evening. Playing as dwarves, and the dwarves in that game are doing fairly well. to do it in multiplayer without any of that oh, player allies was foolish <laughs> yeah I mean the lack of player allies can really hamper your progress with that mod especially in multiplayer 